Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make a spinning globe to use for your logo in your videos. Now, to create this, you're going to need a few free programs. One is Paint.net, the other one is GIMP, and then there's also one called Format Factory. Now, you can also use uh, QuickTime Pro for this instead of Format Factory. I'm going to use QuickTime Pro for this. If you don't have QuickTime Pro, it costs 30 bucks. It's definitely worth it. You can do a lot of different things with it. I talk about some other things you could do with it in my other videos. But anyway, let's get into it. First of all, man, you want to open up Paint. So I have it open here at the bottom of the screen. What you want to do is you want to go to File. You want to go to New. And you want to create a canvas to use as the background. Let's do it by a height and width of 1000. Now the reason why you do this, because if you have a logo and it's just words and you want a white globe or you want a red globe or a black globe or some other color globe you need to create a layer which is going to be the background layer so for this one I'm going to leave it at 1000 picks width and height alright so we got that set up so now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to file and you want to go to open and you want to open your logo from wherever it is so I have this logo here that I'm going to use I'll click on open and you also want to make sure that the size of your logo is about the same width as the canvas so you go to image and then resize you see mine is all already at a thousand and if I wanted to I could bring the height up some on this so maybe 500 but I don't want to constrain my properties so I'm gonna take that maintain aspect ratio out if I like how it looks, it doesn't look all jacked up. It looks okay. Eh, I'm gonna change it up a little bit more. Instead of 500, let's go to. We're gonna go to 375. I like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm on the selection tool. I'm gonna go to edit. Well, I'm gonna click in this blank space first here. I'm gonna go to edit undo but edit and then copy now that I've copied the file I'm gonna click on the blank canvas that I created and I'm gonna go to edit and paste now I need to go ahead and move this to the center so that when I create my globe it's in the center of the globe and not at the top or the bottom or whatever since everything is white on this it doesn't really matter how far to the left or the right or you are as long as you have all of your words on the screen. I like it where it's at now. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm going to save this as a PNG. You can do it as a JPEG or whatever. And I'm going to call it Spin Logo. And I'm going to save it there. And click OK. And I'm done. So I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to open up GIMP and I'm going to go file I'm going to open up the file that I just created and there it is get a little preview of it here I click open now I need to create my globe with GIMP so what I'm going to do is go to filters I'm going to go to animation I'm going to go to spinning globe. Now I want to make sure that my frames are correct and I want it to be around the same as I have in PowerDirector. So I'm going to change this to 30 frames per second because I have it at 29.97. I'm going to leave everything else the same and I'm going to click OK and it will create my spinning globe. Now, it may take a while for the globe to be created, so don't fret if you see you think it's taking like forever. So now that I have created the spinning globe, I'm going to go and save it as a GIF animation file. 
So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to export. I'm going to choose the location where I want it to export to. I'm going to click on select file type by extension. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down to find the option of GIF image. And I'm going to click export. And that's going to ask me about some of the options. And I want it to be in animation. So I'm going to click on as animation. And I'm going to click export. And now I'm done with good old GIMP. Oh, Gimpy. He real Gimpy. Got a Gimpy leg, but he makes good animations. So now that I have that. I'm going to go to my pictures on my computer where I saved the GIF. And I see here's the GIF file. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to open with QuickTime Player. Now, if you need QuickTime Pro. You cannot do this with the regular QuickTime player. You need Pro, which I said earlier in the video, it costs 30 simoleons. If you got 30 simoleons, get this because it does a lot of things. Helps you uh, export and uh, format files that you can use in PowerDirector. Some type of MOV files sometimes you can't use in there. This helps with that. So I think it's a good buy for 30 bucks. So what you want to do now is you want to click File. You want to click export to change it to a movie file that can be used in PowerDirector. So I'm going to change this name here. And I'm going to go to options here just to make sure that everything is how I want it. It looks like it is. If I go to settings, I want it to be at H.264 because I know that. Power Director can handle those files, and I want the frame rate 29.97, uh, just like I'm using in Power Director. But it's still, you know, really 30 because that's why I saved it as on when I did the uh, GIF file. So I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna click OK, click OK, and I'm gonna click Save. And you can change the location. Don't forget if you want to. I'm gonna click Save, and you can see here it's gonna export it. as I named it so I'm done with that I'm going to open up power director go to the media room and I'm going to import the file I just created and spin logo 2 in my video folder click on open And here it is. So I click on it and I click play. You see I have a spinning globe. It's got a lot of white around it though. I don't want that white on my videos. I want my globe to be boss dang self. So now that I have my logo here. As you see if I put it down here it's really small. Well first thing it's going to tell me. The frame rate you have imported. 30 files per second. Frames per second. Does that match the current project frame rate? So the quality may be degraded. Of course the quality is not going to be degraded because my frame rate is higher and I'm going to be fine with that. So I'm going to click OK. So now. I need to actually make this longer than this because you can see it's, it's not even just a few seconds long. As a matter of fact, just two. Three seconds. That's it. I can't have just three seconds of a globe spinning. So what I need to do is create a file that's easier for me to manipulate so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do control V and I'm going to insert the clips to the right and I'm just going to keep doing control V control V until I get it to maybe I don't know somewhere around 21 seconds or something so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually produce this so that it turns it into a looping Globe. You can use whatever file format you want. I'm going to use MPEG4. I'm going to give it a name. Let's save it. Now I'm going to click start and it will produce 
my lovely little logo for me. Now I'm going to go back to the edit page. Going to remove all of this. And I'm going to bring the clip down to use as a background. And then I'm going to bring my MOV file down as well. The wrong one. I want this one, the long one. Yeah. So now what I need to do is size this bad boy up. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to a size that I like. I'm going to put it in a position that I like. Maybe right about there should work. And now I still got this white crap around here. I don't like this white crap. So how am I going to get rid of it? Golly. Well, make sure that you click on the file for the globe. Click on modify. And you want to go to mask. You go to mask. You want to choose circle mask. And look at how beautiful that looks. It took all this thinking white out of it with their mask. So what the mask does, it just shows whatever's in the middle of it. So I also can see a little bit here that I have some extra white on the outside of here that I don't like. I still want to get rid of that. So I'm going to scroll down to motion. And I'm going to activate the keyframes on that. And that will remove the little bit of the white that I had around there. So that looks good. So I'm good with that. So I'm going to click on save. Now one last thing I do want to let you know. Is that. Paint.net. Let's just say. Uh, my image was not white. Let's say I'm using a different image. So I'm going to close these out. Let's say I was using. Uh, file. New. Let's just say. I was using something with a black background. So I still got to change my background to a thousand by a thousand. Click OK. Got my colors here. Got my paint bucket. Click on the black. Click on paint bucket. And boom. Now I got black. So if I had something with a black background as an image. Or red or whatever color you want. You can uh, use it. Let's say it was this per se. So I'm going to resize this real quick. I'm going to make the width a thousand. I'm going to leave the height whatever it wants to be. Matter of fact, we got to undo that. That looks real ugly. Let's make sure that we maintain our aspect ratio this time. Much better. So, uh, I'm going to copy this, go to the black background I created, edit and paste it there, and then just drag it down into position. Now the reason why I did this is because now when I create my globe, it'll match the black that was in here with that. But you got to be careful with the image like this one, the one that I'm using, to make sure that the blue doesn't leave any black there, because then there'll be a little black line where you don't want one. So, you got to just make sure that it's all blue all the way to both edges on an image like this one like that beautiful and then you just save it and then you do everything else the same as I did before that's it finito it's over spinning globe baby now do me a favor you know I'm gonna ask you to do this if you like the content in this video, if you think that it can help you and others create great videos, click the like button, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. You know what to do. Leave me your comments, all right? If you got questions, I'll try to answer them for you. If I can't answer your question, I'll point you in the right direction so you can get your question answered. I love comments. Like I say, 
I love comments like a fat kid loves cake. The fat cake loves cake. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.